My name is Matt Brunke. I'm a veterinarian here at North Country Veterinary Referral Center in Queensbury, New York. Here at North Country Veterinary Referral Center, when we have a patient who has an injury, we always want to work hand in hand between surgery and rehab. Once surgery stops, if we can work on eliminating any factors that may arise, such as swelling or pain, then we know that we're not going to have these complications, we're not going to have setbacks. We can use cold compression right after surgery to head off any swelling or pain that would actually arise before the patient's even awake from anesthesia. The companion cold compression system actually combines two things that we've been trying to utilize for a long time in veterinary medicine. Before we had the companion compression system, we would use ice packs and we'd wrap them in a thin towel and we'd hold them in place. But we'd have to have someone sitting with them constantly. They might slide off and we didn't, get, we didn't appreciate all the surface area that we were missing in our compression. The variability of the pump to allow us to treat multiple areas on the patient at the same time cuts down on our treatment time and allows us to spend more time doing other aspects for our patients. This not only helps the patient, it helps our staff and team, but it also helps the owner at home because we all know that there's only so many hours in a day. Following a surgical procedure, we'll use the companion system before the patient's even extubated. We can use it for cruciate surgeries of any types. We may use it just for meniscal injuries following surgery. Of course, our patella luxation corrections also benefit from it. We'll have that on for about 20 minutes, start to minimize the swelling before it even occurs. Then we'll repeat that every four to six hours until the patient is discharged the following day. To me, the companion cold compression system is a standard of care because of the consistency that it brings us. So not only are we using our companion cold compression system in the operating room and in the ICU following it, but we're also utilizing it as part of our rehab program. It provides us great flexibility for muscle injuries, for patellar tendonitis, for just dogs that have arthritis that need some extra boost. It's easy for the clients to utilize at home to get some benefit after a long workout for those arthritic patients. So commonly when we send it home with patients, it's in for the immediate post-operative period. And then we're gonna have them home with it, doing it two or three times a day for the first two weeks. One of the things I really like about the system is its portability. Charge it up, ready to go. We can take it from the operating room to the ICU, to the rehab department, to home with the patients without a lot of clunky things to have to try to carry around. We have intermittent compression. So we can apply some compression and allow that to then relax, get some better blood flow in that area, and then compress again to return all the swelling that may be happening up into the lymphatics and back into the body to eliminate it from the limb that we're worried about. The companion cold compression systems become a standard of care in our hospital, but not only in surgery, but also in our rehab department. Its versatility, portability, practical applications, and results help our patients achieve the goals that they want to.